What's up, it's Jim from Technovault, and in this video, I'm going to walk you everything you need to know to make a powerful Schranz kick for hard techno. After this video, I 100% guarantee you, you will be a better producer if you're struggling with these kicks right now. And just to put it in levels, you know, we have a main kick. This stuff is usually what you would use in like, you know, driving techno. And then you obviously have the rumble. Together that makes a rumble kick. So those are all like two methods at once that you need to understand to make a Schranz kick. And then afterwards, you also add this percussion and it means basically that you don't have to have any hi-hats in your drop anymore because it's all in one kick and then you know you get at that point so leave a comment like subscribe blah 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 let's get right into it first thing you want to do is get a top kick i'll link a tutorial right there because we already made a tutorial on how to make these ones yourself 100 from scratch but for now i'm just going to go into our free our techno sound pack which you can download in the link description 100 for free and we have a kick builder and in here you can find some punches I think I'll literally go with this one. Let's get into 150 BPM. I think that works well for these kicks. So I'm going to immediately add this into our mixer and I'm going to start working on reverb because we're going to make a rumble. I also link a tutorial to a full rumble kick tutorial where it's explained more in depth. But basically we have a main punch right here and we route this to start off with into an other channel. Here we add 100% reverb, which is going to be for hollow room on like this setting. We add a fruity limiter. We automate the gain so we can automate the volume of this rumble. We add an EQ, we get rid of the highs, and we really get here into this range. And I want to add some OTT. Our second reverb is going to be a higher reverb. So I add this punch channel, like the kick channel, into another one. And in here, I'm going to add the same chain. So what you can do is file, save, and get the exact same presets as we have in this one. And then I just change this to only muffle the highs, and I get rid of the sub like that. And now suddenly we have this one as well. So I automate the limiter again, so we have another automation clip for the higher reverb. Now we have this one, and this one. And together, this is going to create a rumble. So these go into one channel alongside our main bass. So here's our rumble kick, and in here, you're going to add the following things. Always start off with a soft clipper and an inflator. An inflator, a wave shaper, on half sign is an inflator as well, but just let me add the inflator from Oxford, it's just really cool. That's fine. So in front of everything, you want to add Pro Q, stereo placement, side, and we're going to make sure that with a brick wall mode, that everything under this range is going to be sub mono. You can hear it. We want to clean sub because we don't want to ruin the stereo and like the speakers when you're in a club. And suddenly you don't have any sound anymore. It just sounds like a wet fart. So that's it. What I feel like is that we can spice up this rumble kick maybe. Let's put a little altar boy and we take down the foreman. And then I add a pro cue again. In this case, I'm going to stereo separate, the, uh, make sure that the sub and maybe a little bit of the mids are mono again. It's cool, paramatic EQ. And now we have a pretty decent sound already, I think. But what I want to do in here is add a little bit more distortion to the low reverb. There you go. The distortion is literally a maximum because I add it after the reverb and then it gets automated and then we have the cutoff as well. It's a very clean distortion. We're getting there. The second rumble I'm going to make is duplicate the punch like this, get rid of the initial click slightly at this volume fader effect. We're going to duplicate this so we get a quarter note rhythm. Let's add this next to the kick and I'm adding this into the main channel. Now we're going to create an automation clip again of the gain. So we're automating the gain. Then you want to add Fahala Room at around 58% like that. And we're going to keep it right there. And we just open up the mix slightly. So because we still want to hear that, but we don't want to have 100% reverb. So get rid of the highs in this roll. There you go. I think we can add a little bit of distortion. We definitely can. You want to add this after Little Alter Boy and after the EQ and after everything because then the new character gets distorted instead of having it distorted first and then adding all this tonality and new character. So This will be a rumble kick for a while and I think we can work with this. So let me just disable the effects once we're at the half of the thing so that we don't have reverb playing. We can start to layer it. So because I think Schranz really has clicky punch. 
something like this. So let's add this as well. And basically, if you want to make these from scratch, just add percussion and everything. Here's a top kick and we add this in here. And what I want to do is separate the rumble kick into a new channel. This is like one kick. And then we are going to create like a main kick channel again right here. So this is called Schanz kick. <laughs> in here, the rumble kicks come together alongside a top kick and we'll add the top loops afterwards. So I feel like we don't need a lot of highs in here. Because, oh, get rid of the limiter on the master, by the way. So, there you go. It adds a little bit of grit and dirt to the whole thing, which is something that we're really looking for. What I'm going to do is go into the free sample pack so you can access this as well, where we have a bunch of this. So what we're looking for is a very snappy and harsh hi-hat loop that has prominent hi-hats. We don't want that. That's just a little bit too midi. Too much mids, Jesus Christ. This has a lot more highs, and that's what I'm looking for. This is cool. And let's get this one as well. So we want two top loops. Make sure that you match the BPM so that it's both, because the loop is 140 BPM and we're working in 150. So make sure they're both the same BPM and select the samples and make sure it's not like this. So we de-clicked it and then just make a loop so that we sidechain this. We don't have to do automation clips for this. We can literally sidechain it like that. So these two top loops go next to the Schranz kick channel and we add this into one channel as well right here. And we call this top loop. I want to separate this because I don't I don't want to have these individually into one channel. I want individual like top loop channel that then goes into this channel. What it sounds like now is this. And as you can hear, we're kind of getting there, but it's not really it yet. So what you want to do is work on the top loop a lot. I'll start with the basics and that basically comes down to EQ, get rid of this because we don't want sub in here because if we start distorting this top loop and there's sub in here, we get a lot of muddy top loops. We want a top loop that's sharp and snappy and like blending into the kick. We already have enough subs, so that's why I like remove that here. Here's the difference. You're really looking for the high end. So isolate this. Then we want to add distortion. You can use a wave shaper. It's already better. Then I want to add an EQ afterwards. That's for the tone, I guess. And I want to add a compressor. So I'm adding the compressor with a ratio of four or five and a threshold of like 15. The threshold really depends on how hard your top loop is, but as you can see, mine is like going 12 to 9 dB. So I'm getting that around 15 because I want it pulled to 15 and just on a consistent hard compression, you know? I add this compression because we distort the loop so much and then we are changing the frequencies as well. This really boosts or reduces the loop and I want the loop to be consistent in volume. So that's why I add a compressor. It's compressed right now and it's distorted. So the magic really happens with adding an EQ in front of the distortion right here. Look what happens. You're totally free to now completely change this loop based on this EQ and it's cutting through because we have this distortion in place. So blend it together. You can get different tones that work in your kick. So I do want to add sidechain on this because I feel like the distortion is kind of overwhelming the punch. So do it like that. So we get a little bit more drive in our kick. Before I start working on the top loop more, let's get into the Schranz kick channel. We're basically going to add the same basic processing that we always do, which is an inflator alongside a soft clipper. And as you can hear, more soft clip, once you're really squashing it against the zero dB, you really get that overdriven techno kick. I'm not gonna keep this setting, but the fun part starts where you really overdrive it and then start playing with frequencies in front of this. Nobody is like limiting you to not automate this knob. I'm saying you can do whatever you want. If you feel like adding some automation in here, you can do that. You could have the mids at the normal level like that. And then during the end of the kick, it kind of goes up like that. And bam, you have this thing going. And I might keep that a little bit less and wider. Just to give a little bit of clarity. To recap, the first part is the rumble kick. Then we have added a top kick and a top loop. As represented here, rumble kick, top kick, top loop. They all individually go into another channel, which is the main chance kick. And in here, just play with frequencies, add soft clipping and inflator. So you're squashing it against 0 dB. And now you can just go back into your kick and change a lot of things. So, for example, a thing you can do just to play around is take these top loops and completely change. We have a F Studio 21 is very easy. You can add a little bit of like this. You can
can go in one top loop and take it down an octave. Which is pretty cool, let's maybe do minus 6, minus 5. Now I think the normal pitch works better, so... And I don't think we should put the gate there. Now we can go back into the rumble kick and change the form and shift. And just to have fun with it, I'm going to save our final chance kick channel. And you can literally go save and drag and drop this. So just so I can go back. Now I'm going to take the rumble kick channel because we have that form and shifter and add it to the chance kick so that we can like see what happens. So in this case, we get a really... We need to get that top loop back in here and it's not working because I double saved it and then I don't have the automation anymore, so. As you can hear, it's really cool if you add form and shifter as long as you make sure that you're not working with a stereoized full kick because form and shifting adds stereoization. So, you know, you get some cool stuff in here. We just need... I would say this is more like a tribal kick, but you can definitely work with this. And it's pretty cool, honestly. We could maybe add this to the uh, final Schranz Kicks channel because I saved this. So like the total kick channel goes into this one. And then like the first punch we used, this one, we're going to route this also directly into this final channel, just so we have no processing on one of these chains. See how it sounds. That's pretty cool. Like it's getting more and more tribal, I guess. Just to keep it easy, I'll render this one out because it's a fun kick, you know? But I don't want to overdo this, so let's just render this tribal kick right there. And then we go back into the normal. You're really able to create creative kicks as long as you have fun with the basics. So make a rumble kick, add this rolling thing, add a top kick, and add the top loops. And then start playing with form and shifting and all these weird things and add that in between. And you're really going to be able to get kicks that nobody made at all. And you're going to actually be able to drive this whole genre forward instead of making the same shit that everybody does. So let's get back to the normal chance kick right here. Get rid of this chain and there you go. So the, just the thing that you need to do now is go back into the top loop and find a tone that works. You can take down the amount a bit. And you can get rid of the form and shift in the rumble kick as well if it's too much. It's just important that it gets into a final channel and you're kind of squashing together the top loop with the rumble kick. But you want to prevent that it gets too square wavy, as you can hear. Square wave. So what you do to prevent that is take the distortion and then take down the sub. Like this is a kick already. I think you can do it too. It's like get a little alter boy on the top loop and just see what happens if you take this down. That's even better. You can maybe add a chorus. Like, let's see what happens if you add a free chorus. I think that's pretty cool. So let's render this one out as well. My goal is just to make a lot of kicks in a few minutes. And um, there's a kick. So what we can do is take another top loop. See what happens. Well, that's not really... Okay. This is 160, so let's make sure it's in 160. There you go. And then we can change the top kick. Just to show you that you're really not limited to the thing that you make. You can have a lot of fun with it, but just changing samples. Ooh, that's a nice one. Anyways, that was the video. I can literally go on for hours and hours and hours. I hope you enjoyed it. Just make sure to do a rumble kick, top kick, top loops, put that together in a channel. Really don't forget the soft clipper and Oxford inflator combo. And um, really just have fun with little Alter boy changing the formant. Make sure it's all mono in the sub range, you know, the bass. If you do that and you just try every day for 50 minutes, you'll get so good at these kicks and I guarantee you, you get to the next level. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.